how about we, we could just ask ourselves questions about life. It could be like a, you know, existential, existential you know, adventure. I'm Ben. I'm Ted. Uh, we are half of Mumford and Sons. We're playing in different bands around London, and then at the end of 2007, uh, we kind of linked up. We'd been playing together in different groups, but then we thought we'd just give it a go as the four of us, and uh, just went straight on the road. We've basically been on tour ever since. I think we write quite collaboratively now, so uh, the sort of multi-instrumental factor is, is sort of, it almost sort of defines the directions the songs take because someone will bring in a sort of skeletal idea um, and we develop it and we kind of, um, the direction of the song is, is kind of intuitive and we, we like to use instruments that we feel will serve the song best, so for example, um, like one of the newest songs, Ben, um, sort of, you know, gets behind the drums, which is, you know, the only song he drums on. So we basically just sort of work out what it is the song needs and then we teach ourselves the required instrument and uh, get on with it, basically. Yeah, it's good fun. Uh, well... We released three EPs before we did this album and they were self-produced and we kind of just did them wherever we could find space to do it and the difference was that this album we worked with a producer and an engineer and it's not so much in terms of changing our sound at all but at least working with people who know what they're doing um, when it comes to capturing sound. It kind of sums up where we're at right now and that's going to change. Sino More isn't um, necessarily a mission statement. It was more like a capturing of where we got to. Yeah. Marcus Drabs, the, the producer we work with on, on Sino More, tying it in. Um, thanks. Um, he was amazing. We, we, we've been touring so hard and uh, writing a lot on the way, like a lot of the songs that we write uh, come together on the road. And so the, the sort of window we had to make the album was about four weeks. It was, it was not a lot of time. And um, so without him, he was sort of, uh, he had the, the sort of bigger picture in mind. And so if someone was in the live room t doing a take or something, um, he would often send one of us, you know, somewhere else to work on a part or develop, a, you know, work out some harmonies or something. So case in point, actually, on Dust Bowl Dance, which is like the penultimate song on the record, uh, we were recording down in the live room. Everyone was really in it. And I think Ted was up on his own in the upstairs room for like two days just with a whiskey bottle and a slide and a guitar recording himself and then we just put that on as a part. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. I don't even Favorite remember that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, where's Ted? He's like, yeah, he's still working on it. Still working it was the first time I heard that song back after all the production, the mixing and everything. I was like, ah, I wonder who did the slide bit and does well done. So I was like, <laughs> it was great. Without Drabs, we'd be done for. Your phone, but mine, and it was your heart on the line. I really fucked it up this time. Deny my dear, deny my dear. Uh, we hate hype, we really, <clears throat> and I know it's quite cliche to say that, but we don't really feed off it, we don't benefit from high expectation. So I think that might be a slightly British thing or it doesn't feel very natural for us to be like, yeah, we're awesome and like people think we're great and we're going to go out and do it. It's just more like we want people to not think about like competitive music scenes and mm. stuff like that. It's more like we're just playing a bunch of songs. <laughs> just playing a bunch of songs and we're just, we're just a few guys. <laughs> it's all right, mate. I'm just trying to maintain my thought process. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I wear a lot of my dad's clothes. He wears some of my mum's clothes, and my sister steals Ben's clothes. And um, my mum buys my clothes. Yeah, she does actually. Yeah, I'll go home that's after weird, tour, and they'll be like, "Oh, that's a nice jacket. Should have found it in some charity shop." Or you know, it's like I don't know. We, it's it's getting a little bit embarrassing. The other day we all like <laughs> we disbanded, all <laughs> and then all met. Again in New York, and we're all wearing exactly the same thing. We had white shirts, waistcoats, jeans, and boots on. Yeah. Basically, what I'm wearing now, times three, well, four, you know, yeah. Yeah. The whole gang. But I got a compliment. I was walking down the street, and someone, someone said, Great look, guys. I was like, Thanks. <laughs> we're in New York, and someone thinks we're yeah. good. It's great. Hey. Hey. We're Mumford and Sons. Watch our music. Uh, watch our mu gig. Babel watch on music. Watch our with the. We're playing at the Music Hall of Williamsburg, and you can watch the show on BabelMusic.com.com.